recording has begun. Bam. Hello. Hello. We're doing a thing. Yeah, we are doing a thing. A thing that And with that out of the way. Some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stuff and things and doodads. We're back in Deja Vu. Um, some low stakes today, I think. Yes, we it's are trying to. So basically, today's uh, goal is to be able to claim that we have done some work. Mm hmm. And since we're both having uh, severe concentration troubles <laughs> right off the bat, we figured <laughs> that we should record this because point one. Uh, being live or knowing you're live kind of helps to maintain certain attention level mm -hmm. so that's like a little exploit there but point two should that fail we will at least have provided some derby brain entertainment for other people <laughs> uh yeah Yes. <laughs> it's it, it's a bit more like oh, I I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, you're right. The recording sort of jars you into focus a little bit more. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you why. This is this is a uh, completely tangential, but this is uh, why I like uh, doing let's plays. I I think uh, I think I wouldn't uh, have the same effect with. The, with streaming because there the stakes are higher as in you have to actually maintain the audience and all that shit but when doing a let's play it's like a real time thing that sort of it's like your your hand is on an ongoing pulse and the thing is is, is sort of it, it's difficult to explain Hmm. But you know the feeling. Yeah. It's like when you when you are commenting along to something that you do, it sort of pulls everything tight into a, a, into a tight path. Hmm. So I even think... even even so even when your gameplay itself is very sort of meandering and tangential, you yourself are sort of uh, in the flow. I yep. think when I play when I play games on my own, I do sort of just tend to go from A to B to C to mm. D. But then when I'm let's playing, I actually take uh, I, I examine the environment a bit more, and I talk about it, and I I examine things in the world a bit more, and you know I'm a bit more fo yeah focused. I think I don't know. It's like on on one hand, it gives you it's it's a good focusing tool, and on the other hand, it also lets your mind rest a little bit so it's like you're you're engaged in this one thing and the back of your brain can sort of uh, relax while hmm. the front of your brain is engaged that is not how science works but that's how metaphors <laughs> work <coughs> I could get into that there's sort of like that element of the flow as well mm -hmm. once you start talking Mm -hmm. and, and you could just sort of run with it that is that is quite relaxing yeah a nice distraction um, right I want Corey to do some grandiose sweeping gesture or some sort of power stance thing here it's when he's the... addressing the crowd <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like you know the general stance mm. like military leader stance like putting standing on a higher ground one foot higher than the other and <laughs> placing one of your hands into your coat or something you know, mm -hmm. the napoleon stance or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bonaparte special <laughs> um, uh, i know i'm gonna write this out so i've put it, but this isn't what we're going for Put his foot uh, up on something, and uh, gestured with his hand. We could probably make this much shorter. 
just let it let it stay as yeah. it is right now. I I don't expect to come up with any final text today. Just sort sort and sift it a little bit farther. Yeah. I was here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's. Oh, okay. Who's. Yeah, that gets me all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like the. Mm, <coughs> not, not misplaced, but uh, ill advised motivational speech. Mm hmm. Uh, Corey would go on and describe an event that occurred. Everything was fucked in it because of it. Mm. As I always like to say, or oh, I know, I know what I what I meant in this place. It's like, as I said when we were uh, fighting off those bogies at the da 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 that 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 sort of thing. Mhm. Mm as I said, when we were hopelessly pinned down by the da da da, -da at the da da da, -da. <laughs> <coughs> There's a lot of da da da's going on here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and I like the idea that he quotes himself, because that's totally a... That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> the, the That's the sort of thing that yeah. Mr. P would do. Uh, Pablo. Let's call him Pablo for the sake of mm -hmm. uh, anonymity. <gasps> Monsieur P is even better. <laughs> it fits perfectly, yes. Monsieur P. Um... <laughs> Oh, we are mean. We have just completely lost the viewers. Uh, come back, it's fine. Um, <laughs> We're okay. going somewhere with this, promise! <laughs> this conversation between Nux and Corey... Well, Corey is addressing everybody, but Nux is sort of giving him the... Uh, he's the one who's being the most vocal in his disagreement. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, certain crew members should be talking to Corey directly or like man what are you doing this is not how you do it or whatever but uh, meanwhile Corey himself will try to uh, will try to give his grand speech to everybody mm -hmm. I uh, also imagine the uh, junior boss from uh, IT crowd oh uh De uh, is it Denton? Gosh, I, d I don't remember the names. <laughs> don't ask me names. There's somebody at the door. That bloke. Maybe. Uh, okay. So, so uh, not not the not the boss that they started out with, but the but his son. Yeah. This oh, is going whoa! very well. <laughs> <laughs> He's excellent. I love that character. He's uh, that actor is in. Another TV program on Channel Four uh, called Toast of London. Oh and yeah, it, I, I have it, it done Netflix. It is hilarious. <laughs> I I love it so much. <laughs> it's a bit cringy in places, mm -hmm. but in other times. Uh, hi, this is Clem Fandango. Can you hear me? Yes, Clem, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Uh, Toast of London, check it out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right. Might be available on. Your Netflix, which is good because it's. <laughs> I was watching it on Watch Series because I don't like Channel Fours. You can't watch stuff on Channel Floor, f Channel Floor, without <laughs> uh, disabling ad blocker and signing up to accounts. And you know how mm. opposed I am to signing up to things. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Um, Corey continues to everybody his own actions and spoken, but I need you to continue what you're doing. Restore my. Should this go on for a little bit longer? Uh, we've got uh, Corey. I think 
think we should extend the reactions a little bit more. Okay. So uh, the the part where it should be longer. No, 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 not there. Uh, okay. Don't don't write it down like this. Listen what I wh what I will say and then get the point from it. But don't don't write down the words. Okay. So uh, what I mean is this whole clearly uncomfortable situation should go on for a little while and the and uh, the way to present it would be people doing thing so uh somewhere around here after Taniki and Nux have talked or maybe even before they have talked uh insert some sort of uh description of drudgery so 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 basically this part this part uh, should include more descriptions of what people are doing okay <coughs> well, I am gonna make a note of that that's the crux of this mm -hmm. uh. prolonged misery Vis visi <laughs> okay. Visible prolonged misery. I think that's that pretty much sums it up quite nicely. Yeah. Okay. Carrying on. I love this about Nux being like, "Did you hit your head? All right, is there something wrong with you?" This is nothing like that thing. Uh, and then Corey keeps going. This, this isn't even the right system! <laughs> uh, I don't know, but hang on. When uh, Corey ignores... Him again, Nux wanders off. Yeah, it's like uh, mm, you you know the brush off uh, gesture. You know when you sort of there is there is it's a verb in Estonian, but I don't know about the English. When you sort of uh, eh, throw with you uh, brush with your hand or w like hand wave and walk away. Hmm. Uh, I, it's the, I, the eh gesture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, Nox makes the eh gesture and <laughs> wanders back to some thingy. That's that's when Tonic is like, how oh, can you guys be so calm? This is obviously stupid. <laughs> oh, Mariah, you're so cool. You're so cool, calm, <laughs> and collected about everything. Two words.
riding a trolley. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wrecking ball. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Wee! God, yeah, please. She does that in the med lab, like when everybody's arriving in the med lab, she's riding like a wheelchair or something around oh, and she okay. crashes, crashes into something. <laughs> and while everybody's having their discussion in the foyer, you can just hear this crash in the background and she's like, I'm okay! <laughs> you know, <laughs> typical. Oh, great, Mia. Uh, t- uh, she says something. What does she say to encourage Nux to say, just look busy? Or does she not? Does she just return to him? Um... Maybe she's just giving him an exasperated look. Mm. Like, how how long do you expect this to go on? Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'll just look busy. You'll understand this isn't working eventually. I'm not so sure, man. It's different. Corey, I know. You got a rage for ages ago. <laughs> We will probably need to address the vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like uh, Taniki's voice. Like here, this is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but this uh, further down here, where this this, I'm not so sure, man. Uh, that's a bit of a concern. Uh, uh, I think the I'm not so sure, man, works. But what comes after that uh, is our voice, not hers. Okay. So actually, this isn't the problem. Yeah, it's okay. okay. She's building the camaraderie, oh. asking who this is Nux okay so it's like if Nux is <coughs> basically they are trying to find ways to uh, to escape the horrible drudgery so instead they will get engaged in conversation Mm-hmm. Uh, what what was he like, your Corey? I mean, so Taniki could be like, well, for for one, oh, uh, she could point out something specific. Well, mm. once he did, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, this actually raises an interesting question. So, what would be the uh, the differences? So, the the quarry that we have in this story is the one that you have been writing all this time, mm-hmm. which means the quarry from a different time frame, a different time stream, the one that this uh, Taniki has known. Is the one that you have to come up uh, yeah. f- with the differences for. Mm-hmm. So let's let's see what what is our quote unquote our quarry like. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, that is that is a vast question. Um. Bef- before deja vu, he was sort of come into terms with his mortality a little bit at least I'm getting old uh, blah 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 all this and that and he was a bit war weary after mm-hmm. having to deal with Servo and the intergalactic boogeymen or interdimensional boogeymen sorry mm-hmm. um, boogie 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh dear okay yeah carry on um yeah, so he's a bit weir- weir- war weary, a bit like old and grumbly, and you know. And then this, this, this whole thing with Deja Vu happens, and he gets given sort of this new lease of life, and he seems to have m- melded the worst of his younger mm-hmm. years 
into the worst of his older years. It doesn't feel like we've got the best of both worlds here, to be honest okay, with you. Okay, but uh, let's try to get specific. So, what what are the what are these worst of his young traits and worst of his old traits? So, I would say that the worst of his old traits are probably the sort of fat fatalistic sort of oh why bother kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in some occasions. Uh, I, when in during taking flight, Corey is very much he'll follow Trouble's lead. Like he mm. didn't have to do much decision making back then. If Trouble said to him, "Oh, go fix this," or "We're going here to do this mission, and we might mm. have to kill X people," Corey would follow him and okay. and do it. And he didn't do much thinking for himself at that point. Um, and then all the stuff like Trouble went missing, and Corey got captured, and he ends up at Alicia, and then he had to take a leadership role. Um, uh, so there were occasions when trouble would give him directions and he would be brash and he would be he would run in and be quite reckless and he would make use of his abilities and then later on in life as he gets to like Alicia facility and that there's that story point where he doesn't like relying on his abilities anymore like he doesn't he just wants to be a normal person now he doesn't want to have any connection to server or any of that um, so he he calms down a little bit. Um, tries to be a bit more responsible. Mm. Uh, I would like to point out something that during this uh, in in this storyline, during this whole during the whole Deja Vu run, the whole oh Corey has some enhanced physical abilities that does that's that's not even coming up like. We have not addressed this at all, have we? We we addressed it once in when Corey um, opened opened Smith Shuttle, and we made that sort of one note about. Uh, yeah, but that, that, that that's that's hardly enough. So basically, mm. it's not something that is even a thing. You have you have mentioned it once, but there is nothing going on with that. We're we're not doing anything with it no so so maybe so maybe there is uh, there's something we can uh, exploit from there so it's it's like if we haven't uh, mm -hmm. if we haven't addressed it at all or like if we almost haven't addressed it at all at this point we could actually make it like uh, a, a deliberate denial on his part. Oh, I like that. So, so this is this is something that the crew picks up on that uh, that Corey is is trying to. So, on one hand, he is trying to uh, uh, he is trying to exert the leadership skills that he doesn't have mm -hmm. and at the same time he is also completely uh, avoiding using any enhanced abilities physically that he might have yeah <clears throat> and do you think Nox would pick up on things like that uh, Nox m might uh, might not but Taniki would Oh, okay. So she could say, "Oh, what was he like, your Corey?" I mean, and she she could bring up something like, uh, "Well, for one, he would put his uh, his enhanced physique uh, to work, or like he would be the first to uh, to to carry the shit." He would put his augmented ass on the line the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all these down so we've got mm -hmm. like a choice to pick yeah. from. And I think this conversation should actually trail off mm -hmm. and lead into the Corey Smith, Smith stomping across the sand, throwing menacing glances no, around. No, wait. No? Uh, and and then 
Nox could be like, oh, so do you, do you miss him? Your quarry? And she could be like, uh, fuck no, the best are still the south, or, or something of that sort. Yeah. I've always considered Taniki's quote-unquote original quarry to be sort of like a, a, a negative negative version of the quarry we've got. Um, okay. Uh, it's more like fuck no. <laughs> right, she's she's not just like no, nah. It's more like ah, fuck that asshole, you know. <coughs> oh, even better, bastard left me out to die. Oh. So it's like when everything goes well, uh, her version of uh, of Corey would have so like her version of Corey would have been uh, more charismatic and more sort of uh, probably more manipulative. So mm -hmm. so this so our Corey is more clueless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's and he's trying to manipulate and influence people, but he's not good at it. But the core that uh, the Stanik knew, he could have been better at it, but he would have also been better at exploiting people and eventually, and in the end, not taking good care of his crew. Mm -hmm. Or or maybe he had a difficult decision to take and, and Tanik ended up being uh, the, you know, the collateral or something, I don't know. Uh, I, f I think uh, we should make it more ambiguous, so it's not like an outright, oh, he shot me in the face, but more like, uh, bastard took off when we ran into trouble and, uh, and da -da -da -da. Yeah, so something to that effect. Yeah, and, and she could add, like, uh, from, from some of the data that I've been given, I understand that he also ha held a very uh, a very touching uh, memorial. <laughs> and all this would bring it uh, bring it home that okay, while she intellectually understands that these are different people, she also might have trust issues with uh, with Corey in general. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna make a note of that. <coughs> Just with Corey or people in general? Well, one one does not uh, exclude the other, but I I would I would make it more specific to Corey. So right right now we're trying to figure out what what's the crew versus Corey situation is. And. Corey here is like all Corys, like no matter which one she meets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is mind bending a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this this would be some, uh, not exactly similar, but in the same. Uh, this would require the same line of thinking or the same set of skills as dealing with the uh, different variations of Seeker and different variations of Jewel versus Wraith. Mm -hmm. So the Jewel we know and the Wraith we know are mortal enemies who, well, in, in essence killed each other. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this, would, this would mean that if our Jewel runs into an alternate uh, Wraith who might have had close relationship with his reality jewel and 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 lost her and then he would be like oh my god you're alive <gasps> and she would be like get the fuck away from me creep <laughs> so so uh, that th th the sim similar kind of dissonance just with different mm. people and different uh, dynamics yeah that's such a good example it's an easy one to pull out of the hat because we both understand it so well <laughs> and it's a story I want to write one day. Maybe one day it will happen, or maybe it will be hinted to. 
uh, and so yeah so there uh, I've, I've been thinking like there there would be a whole a uh, whole bunch of potential stories where the general framing device is the Murphy HQ and the stories uh, address or the stories feature the characters we know from other stories but not the, not the version that we know from the other story but a different variation of that, that person. Mm -hmm. So for example there, there could be a story where uh, Wraith is, if not the protagonist, then at least uh, a very prominent uh, uh, NPC, and uh, and it will be and and uh, and then uh, his world would be uh, intersected by the whole Murphy Station manipulations and like leading into interesting interpersonal shenanigans. <laughs> so much potential. Um how how do we want to round this conversation out then? Let's just leave it alone right now. Yeah? All right. We we don't we don't have the capacity to do it right now, so leave it. All right. So moving on, uh, I think most of this is already pretty good anyway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is where the old begins. Okay. So is there anything we're missing from this? Not really. I think the scene flows quite well. They're all doing the thing. Corey gives a little mm -hmm. speech. Uh, it doesn't really go that well. Everybody goes back to doing what they were doing. Uh, and then Smith comes over and she vocally beats some sense into Corey. And he's like, we're taking a break. Let's go get acquainted with Alexis. Mm. Scene end. Maybe you could take the old, the old, mm -hmm. and remove it from here, and may maybe keep the notes somewhere, but not here. Okay, so two here. Cut these, right? Uh huh. Okay, let me put these in a. We have a cuts document for this, don't we? Maybe. Oh, oh. I'm not even sure. Oh. oh, I guess not. Um, duh, duh, duh. Have I got just a notes document? Uh, no. Let me stick these right at the bottom for mm. now, yeah. and we'll come back to them when the time is right. Well, we'll... <laughs> We don't need them anymore because we've we've got this. Okay, so end the scene here. Uh, don't do anything here. Wait. Okay. This is the, this is a note thing. Oh yeah. Oh, hello again. <laughs> Not thee, just Alexis, please. <laughs> <laughs> Potential. This definitely happens. Nux definitely pulls Corey aside.
I think let's uh, not uh, do anything with this part right now because uh, we have worked through this and I think if we start poking too much we will lose what we have okay because this this seems to be already like sorted out just needs the proper text mm-hmm Shall we wrap up the video for the moment? I think so, because we have covered some very essential points. Mm-hmm. And uh, we even got some shit done. <laughs> so... Stopping it's recording now, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a February miracle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> February miracle, everybody. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye! Bye.